These days, you can hardly keep up with Lenora Essek, but it wasn't always that way. When I first started the study, and I found out I was going to have to walk, I about had a panic attack. I was like, this is really not going to work for me. She could barely do four laps without struggling for breath, but not now. My last time around, I was up to 32 laps. Lenora has an increasingly common type of heart failure. Although her heart pumps normally, it doesn't fill with enough blood because the lower chamber of the heart is too stiff. This form of heart failure is the most common one in America. It's the fastest growing. However, despite all of our efforts, we've not found any medication treatments that improve the outcomes in patients with this disorder. More than 80% of these patients are also overweight or obese. About five years ago, we tested exercise for these patients and found that it improved their main symptom, which is exercise intolerance, or shortness of breath and fatigue with physical exertion. Dr. Delane Kitzman from the Wake Forest School of Medicine and co-authors studied whether weight loss and exercise might help symptoms in a group of 100 patients with this form of heart failure. Patients were randomly assigned to a caloric restricted diet, exercise training, or both. With exercise, participants lost about six and a half pounds of body weight. With diet, they lost more than twice as much. When we put diet and exercise together, they lost 22 pounds. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Dr. Kitzman says patients who were in the combination group also saw the most improvement in physical symptoms. With a significant improvement in exercise tolerance with diet alone and with exercise alone, but when you added them together, you had a large improvement in exercise tolerance. After 12 weeks of diet and exercise, Lenora is down 15 and a half pounds. I feel good all the time, and to me that's really important. My family's really, really active, and I don't want to be the one on the sidelines anymore. I'll be right there with them. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.